Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Gemini. Okay, so we have risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear, third party distraction, karmic partner, sex and seduction, finances and career, mental instability, uh, listening, understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. We have beauty, mystery, enchantment, waiting, hoping, praying, pause, reflection and rest. Vulnerability and receptivity, hesitation, and mixed feelings. I'm feeling like this is probably a third-party situation. I think it's one of those, like, the grass was not greener on the other side type of situations. I think this person probably left you for somebody else, or maybe there was just, maybe you met them and they were already with somebody, or there's just some kind of third-party energy here. This could also be... Um, career or finances or just them kind of focusing on worldly things and not really focusing on love or at least they weren't in the past there was just some kind of third party distraction um that they were seduced by you know it could also be that they were just in this energy where they just kind of wanted to focus on lust like they just they didn't want to they might have been afraid of how much they loved you like maybe they weren't ready for that kind of love so they might have been kind of messing around with somebody because they just didn't want a commitment yet but I feel like there's like a sense of awkwardness, like they really want to talk to you. And it actually, it makes a lot of sense because you have been in this empress energy or emperor energy, whatever, whatever whether you're male or female. Um, and I've been getting that for a while for this group of Geminis, that your energy is just very seductive. Like the world is your oyster right now. You're just, you're drawing in love. You probably have at least a couple secret admirers. You, you you know, have more than one person that um, most likely wants to date you, your energy, you're just really stepping into your power this year is what I feel. Despite the chaos, I mean, I'm sure there's been a lot of pain for you this year too, but I think you're you're learning a lot this year. There's just a lot of big things that have been happening for you and that are going to continue to happen for you. And, and so, yeah, you're just in this very seductive energy. And, you know, the last reading I got for Gemini is I was getting that someone writes out messages to you and they delete them out of fear like they kind of just overthink it and I get a very I channel a very awkward energy from um, your person in this spread so that actually makes a lot of sense it's like they're waiting and hoping and praying that you'll reach out or that you'll message first or they're trying to find the right words to say and there's just this awkwardness so it kind of seems like they chose something else over you like they might have chosen their career over you or they might have just cho chosen um, someone else, like another person, whatever that third party energy is, there was just something that was, and it could be their own fear and their own commitment issues, but there was something, some kind of karmic lesson here that was um, some sort of karmic karmic energy or third party distraction here that was distracting them from you and it's kind of like a too little too late energy you know now they want to take this risk with you finally now they want to push past and make an effort and show you that they care they want to make this bold gesture I just get a, I get again I get like a very awkward kind of hesitant energy from this group it's like they want to come talk to you they want to say something to you but they're just not sure how you're going to react. It could be that a lot of time has gone by. Um, and so they're just, they don't want to say too little, but they don't want to say too much either. They're, they're just not sure where you're at. Um, they might feel, you know, it would make sense too if they chose someone else or they chose something else over you. Like this could be somebody that chose 
to focus on their career for a couple of you. But whatever it is, it's like they don't really want you to feel like you were, you know, this, their second choice. And so I think that's part of the awkwardness is that they don't know how to come forward because it's like, you know, they, they don't have a, they, they're trying to find a reason to, to explain what happened to you. You know, they're trying to find a reason to explain why they ghosted you or why they were distant or why they just chose someone or something else over you and they can't find that reason. And so there's just this awkwardness because it's like, what, what are they going to say? Like, oh, like sorry, I, I, you know, I'm ready for you now. Are you still, do you still want me? Like, you know, cause they know that you know that you were their second choice at that time. And so they just, there's so much awkwardness there. Um, they could be dealing with some mental instability too. Your person might, might have like a bipolar type energy. Um, I think they're also thinking about things that you've said in the past, like they're listening and understanding and they kind of have this, this new perspective. Maybe you tried to help them with this mental instability and maybe you gave them advice or just tried to be there for them and they're kind of starting to listen to you finally. And, you know, they notice your beauty, your mystery and enchantment. I feel like this is someone that's probably spying on you. They might be having their friends spy on you or they might just be like on your social media like kind of stalking you, checking out your posts, like looking at your pictures. I sense, let me ask my pendulum to confirm. Some of them are doing magic on you. <laughs> okay, and this is, and again, this is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. This is only for like a select two or three of you that are drawn to this video. Some of them, if, if your person is into magic, some of them are doing magic. Because I, I, I channeled someone looking at your picture, but then I felt something. I was like, wait, that's not like a... It wasn't just like a normal like, oh, looking at your picture and then they move on and they think about you. It's like someone's like focusing on your picture, like they're using it in their witchcraft or like if they have like a vision board, they have like a picture of you up on their vision board or maybe they're just like meditating on it. Like if they're like an energy worker, maybe they're just looking at your picture and they're just really trying to visualize and, and feel all those feelings of having it now could even be that you introduce them to magic and to meditation and, and the spiritual side of things and maybe you know that's what they're listening to you about now and they're kind of exploring that and they're like all right well you know let's let's see what happens let's try it you know and so I do see some of them are are trying to manifest you back into their life and again they're just kind of waiting they're hoping they're praying for this this is something they're really trying to manifest um, we have pause, reflection, rest here too, because, you know, again, they, they're not sure what to say or do. They fear, feel very vulnerable with you, very, like, receptive to your energy, but again, there's that hesitation and mixed feelings just because they don't really know where they stand with you anymore. Um, let's see. What's the action they might be taking towards you over the next, like, couple of weeks? <clears throat> so what it looks like over the next couple weeks we have new love faded encounter here you see that so again your energy is magnetic so you can the world is kind of your oyster you're manifesting whoever and whatever you want so you might be meeting somebody it might be like a destined encounter you might be aware of this through dreams visions tele tele telepathy like you might kind of already be aware of this person's energy um <clears throat> and it's like meanwhile this other person the ex um, or whoever, whoever this is that you have this this connection with they're still kind of stagnant and complacent and they're spying and they're kind of thinking you know maybe it's too late and they're still kind of on the fence but what are they going to do like what are and what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks with that see there's just kind of sadness like just them feeling sorry for themselves shyness fear of rejection <clears throat> fast moving energy chaos sudden turn of events i kind of think the sudden turn of events is that you might end up meeting this new person and then this other person is ex is going to realize that they lost their chance like because they're trying to manifest you back but they're not actually i don't think they're actually communicating with you or if they are i think they're being kind of short like i don't think you guys are talking all that much if, if at all um and so i think this is like going on behind the scenes like they're doing magic or they're they're focusing on you or they're asking mutual friends what you're up to um they're just really trying to manifest you back but this person has this like scared hesitant awkward kind of energy it's like even though they love you 
they don't know what to say to you. They don't know what to do. Like, they feel like they just really mess things up. Um, so it's like the, the love is there, the energy, but it's, and it's like they're wanting to come forward. But the problem is with this group is that they get stuck in their head. So I don't want to say like, oh, yes, your person's going to message you within the next couple of weeks. Because honestly, they're so, they're just so like inconsistent. You know what I mean? They're so, it's like they dream about you and they think about you and they meditate on you and they, they do magic and they, they visualize what it would be like to be with you. But it's all kind of like a dream. You know what I mean? Like even if they're asking people about you, it's still kind of like a dream. It could be that you're their unicorn. That would actually make sense. Let me see if I get a yes for that. Are you their unicorn? Yeah. Okay, you are, I think I'm gonna put that in the video title too. You are their unicorn. I don't know if you know what that term means, but basically when you're someone's unicorn, it's like you're like this magical, enchanting being. Like you are just, you know, amazing to them. Like you are their, their match. And it's one of those relationships where it's like if they gave it everything and it didn't work out, it would be so devastating to them that they would never be able to move on from it. They would just be heartbroken for good. So this person like loves you so much that they're I mean, it's it's I don't want to make excuses for them, though, you know, because it's not OK. It's a certain point you have to decide if someone's worth the risk to you or not. But basically, yeah, you're their unicorn. And it's like they love you so much that. You know, they just, they, they're afraid of, of taking that chance. They're afraid of what it would be like to lose you. So it's like they just dream about you and they just kind of overthink things and they try to manifest you and they write messages out to you and then delete them and they, they just overthink everything. Like they're just kind of in their head about you. So I wish I could give you like a flat, like, oh, they'll message you in a couple of weeks or no, they won't. But I, I don't know because they go, this person's energy is so like almost like bipolar, like it's so unstable and it's so chaotic, it's so back and forth, it's so, I think their feelings for you are consistent. I don't think that their feelings for you are, are, are back and forth. Like I think that they know that they love you, but again, like they desire to take action. Sometimes they're like, you know what, it's just better to dream. Like I probably lost my chance with him or her, you know, as much as I love them. And then sometimes they're just really wanting to take this risk and they're like, you know, this is terrifying, but they don't want to lose you either. Um, so, so yeah, it's like they, they do want to talk to you, but, but again, they just, they overthink everything. And I see you meeting somebody new. I don't know when, but I do see somebody new that's either come in or coming in. And you're probably, you're possibly already telepathically aware of this. And you might not even want this other person when this, when this one comes in. And then, then your person is going to be sad and they're going to be, again, just in this shy fear of rejection energy and they're going to realize how much they screwed up. Like they're going to realize that they should have pushed themselves to take that chance and it's going to be too late. That's kind of what I feel for a lot of you. But again, you know, for Gemini's, I've been, I've been getting that energy that you, you guys have choices. You really do. So thank you for watching. Um, I, if you, if this resonates with you, then go ahead and subscribe. I also have a dollar raffle going on. So if you donate a dollar to me through Cash App or PayPal, um, you'll be entered in a raffle for a free in-depth video reading. And like almost no one ever donates to me. So your chances are pretty high, actually. Even if you just give me a dollar, your chances are still pretty good of winning. Um, that will be announced on the 22nd of the month. And my, my info is below. My email address is also below if you'd like to purchase a reading. And if this resonates, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.